Hello again. Um, I noticed that in my last video there were a few things I actually forgot to mention while I was doing the video and because, you know, of the whole 10 minutes things I was a bit rushed. So I'm going to very quickly mention them in this video and this is the demonstration video I'm obviously referring to. Uh, the first thing is when I went through the VCOs, that's here and here, I didn't actually mention each VCO has its own um, sub-octave. Uh, well, that's what it's actually called, but it basically is a sub-oscillator and uh, a square waveform and it plays one octave below uh, the rest of the waveforms in the VCO and it's clocked to the same frequency and um, that's one of the things I really like about the Octave Cat is because it gives you two VCOs which is powerful enough but it gives you two subs as well so um, even if you're just using one VCO you can get a nice thick bottom end by turning the sub up and you know it's, it's, all, you know, it's better having it there than not and the fact that you can mix it in at levels instead of just turning it on and off in a, a, you know for example in things like the Korg Poly 6 it uh, gives you further flexibility which I really appreciate uh, the other thing I was going to say is uh, the Octave Cat also doesn't have any really good performance controls. Uh, th this is one of the disadvantages to the Octave Cat. So if you're ever considering getting one, uh, you know, be aware that it doesn't have any modulation or pitch wheels, as I'm sure you can see. It does have a pitch bend here that's good for an Octave, but and it does have a dead zone in the middle, but it's really cumbersome to use and I wouldn't recommend it. Also, if you want to do vibrato in the oscillator, you, you can achieve this by, you know, sending the LFO to the oscillator and then just turning the depth up. But unless, you know, you can turn them both up at the same time, at the exact sort of same amount, you can only really get vibrato in one oscillator at the time for performances, which is a bit of a disappointment as well. Uh, and the final thing I was basically going to go over the options the Octave Cat gives you at the back of the panel. There are two outputs, there's a low and a high, there's uh, also CV as well. I don't think the very earlier Octave Cats had this, but it has CV, uh, Master and Slave. And uh, so you can CV up to anything. It works at one volt per octave, which is like pretty much the standard that I think Moog uses and most American synth manufacturers. Uh, so that's always handy. And you also have a filter input as well. So um, you can use it to filter your sounds. I don't actually know if that one works in my octave cat. I've, not, I've tried it and I couldn't get anything out of it. So maybe it's went in mine, but it's something to be aware of. So uh, basically that's all I had to point out about the octave cat that I missed in the other video. And if you check out the other video I've made with just the sounds, you'll be able to get um, a fair idea of what it's capable of sonically. Because as I said before, it's really difficult for me to uh, do this without patch memory very quickly. So um, that's basically me done. You know, you, you, f between these three videos, you should have learned a lot about it. And uh, hopefully people will start to appreciate the Octave Cat because, you know, unlike the Moog, uh, Mini Moog and the Art Odyssey, it doesn't really have a reputation because, you know, it, at the time it was a budget synth and not that many people took notice. But don't let that phase you, even though it might not be as flexible as the Art Odyssey in many ways, it's more flexible than the Mini Moog and it certainly is a contender for either because it's got its own character and its, you know, sort of own sound. And, you know, as I said, the panel is very compact. So um, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Uh, if, feel free to leave me feedback and let me know, you know, and how to prove how to improve them or anything else you'd like to know about the Octave Cat. Just uh, message message me on YouTube or VSC, um, where my basically my uh, uh, account is Original Jambo, the same as the one on YouTube. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been informative and uh, just you know let me know if you want anything else.